Hey, what's up guys? This is Johan and on today's video, it's a little bit of a sad video. Um, I had a bit of fish loss in my quarantine and also one of my long time fish that I had actually jumped. Um, this all happened last week, so um, let's get into the video and then I'll tell you guys what happened. Alright guys, so um, if you look at my tank, um, there is one fish that's missing, um, and if you guys know which one it is, um, you guys could point it out in the comments down below, and then we'll know from there. Um, Alright, so the fish that actually actually lost was uh, my Niger Trigger, um, and he was one of the greatest fish that I had. Um, and one of the first fish I have put in the main display, I had my Hippo Tang, uh, my Clarky Clown, and my um, Nitro Trigger in here. Uh, and then he unfortunately jumped. Um, if you look in the back right there, there's that little space right there. Before I used to have a net, just like the one that's over there that blocked the exit and um, he jumped and I just saw him in the back of the tank I'm not sure what spooked him um, but usually most of my fish don't jump the only fish that I've had jump was my um, harlequin tusk and that one is gone so um, but I have to put another net back there to make sure um, there's um, the fish doesn't jump so um, before we discuss the other fish that's lost in the quarantine, here is the Nano. Um, it's doing fine. Um, I have to do a video. It should be dropping um, this uh, Saturday, actually. Saturday night. Um, so if you look, there is a fish in there. That's not supposed to, there should be no fish in this um, Nano, at least for another two months. Um, and this is one of my, um, um, uh, can't feel the name the yeah millionaire's rest there we go yeah and he's a beautiful fish I had a trio of these guys and um, one of the fish as well that's in here it's not supposed to be in here but um, this one is cool being in here he's a, um, a long more blenny so at least he's in here and he will do a job so it's not that bad but I didn't want to put fish in here um, this early um, so the fish that I've lost were the other two um, Melanaris Rasses and they were all doing fine together in um, the quarantine. They were all, I thought they would fight because they are all male but um, they were all swimming together um, and something actually killed them. Um, the first one died first and I thought it was just some kind of sickness. But then a couple of days later, um, I noticed two other fish dead, and then I noticed something even more horrible that um, kind of pissed me off that that happened. All right, so let's move into the quarantine. Um, so if you look right there, there's a pump, and if you can um, see the, there's some black around that pump. I just left everything up as it is, so I can make a video about it. Um, I was actually pissed off that this happened, but um came home um so what i think happened with the first melanars rest is it usually slips in this corner behind that rock right there um and then <coughs> sorry uh the mandarin gobi as well i lost that too and that usually they all sleep in this area and then um, the other melanars rest will sleep on the other side where that pump is and the lawn mow blenny used to sleep in this um pvc right here and so the first one i i saw was over here and it was dead i thought like i say it was some kind of sickness um maybe velvet or ick or something that was in the tank i was killing it um so i stuck my hand in the tank and took it out but i didn't feel any shock so i didn't think anything of it um and then the next night after I saw the um, the fish were a little bit hyperventilating, so I put a air stone, as you can see back there, um, just to alleviate that because they're in hypersalinity. Um, I'm guessing maybe they won't breathe right or freaking out or something. But the next fish I noticed to um, 
having ill effects was the Mandarin Gobi. He had some burns on his side. Um, and I thought it was a heater, but the heater is up here. Um, so I don't think it was a heater, but I, I'm still don't understand what happened, but I'm guessing it's a cheap pump. I'm not gonna call the name of the company, but if you guys have used this pump before, you know exactly where I got it. Um, but I've had it for a few years, so it may just be because it's an old pump that it went bad, um, or it may just be a defective um, pump. So let's get back up here so you guys can see the nana. Um, so the two nights after um, I came home, I noticed that two of the fish was dead, and this Melanaris ras and the Lomlo Blenny, they were just um, kind of cooked up in a corner together, which is odd. Um, and the other two fish were dead. Um, the last Melanaris, the one for the last Melanaris, and then uh, Lomlo Blenny. And I'm sorry, not Lomlo Blenny, the uh, Mandarin Gobi. They were all, the two of the fish was dead. and. I went over to investigate and then I saw the black stuff that I saw around the pump. So um, due to a defective pump that kind of um, blew up basically. Um, luckily it didn't start fire because I have it on one of these um, backup batteries and then there's a fuse right down here so just in case any kind of electrical failure happens the fuse just pops out um, and, and cuts off any electricity. So that I don't have any um, fire incident incidents. Um, but if you notice the, um, here are the dead fish. Uh, they're a little bit dried up because like I said, this happened last week and I, um, I just, uh, you know, didn't have time to make a proper video. So I left them outside and they kind of dry, dried up. Um, but besides the fish loss, um, you know, everything's doing okay, even, this uh, Melanaris Ras right here, he's eating, um, look at him, he's chasing some blood rooms, I just fed him, and I don't see any signs of ick, so, um, I, I'm kind of regretting putting them in quarantine, um, because they were all beautiful, three beautiful fish, um, they did show signs of ick, and as heartbreaking as it is that I didn't want to put them in the main display, um, they did have ick. So even though I lost them to a defective pump, um, you know my other fish are fine and you know they're happy. So still kind of hot, you know heartbreaking that that happened because of a pump, but you know it's all good. Um, going forward, um, what did I learn today? <laughs> Well, what I learned was um, don't use cheap pumps, and if you do use cheap pumps, at least replace them every every year. You know, every every six months, seven months, if you're gonna ha um, take that chance of a cheap pump or any cheap device that's touching the water, replace it. Um, you know, so that's what I've learned from this experience. Um, so I take every every um, bad experience that I have in my life, in my corn, in my. Um, Hobbies, um, whatever I do, as learn from my mistakes. So, if uh, if you are going to um, get a cheap pump, go ahead and replace it once a year or so. All right, guys. So that does it for this video. Um, stay tuned for next week's video where I'll do better shots of the the nano. And um, these guys may be in here for another 45 days. And then I also have a sponge in here. Um, that also was in the quarantine and I put it in here just for the angels. Um, they nibble at it and they're happy and gaining weight. This guy back here was really skinny. Um, he was fat and then he stopped eating because he was getting bullied by the, um, the bigger the emperor angel. So now he's starting to put on weight. Um, he likes flake food and he is nibbling on the um, sponge right there. So. Um, anyways guys, catch you guys in the next one and uh, if you like the video, remember to hit the like button and also remember to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.